Starting with the properly assembled R20 connection, we're ready to hook this up to the manifold. So when we put this together, the first sealing point is going to be this O-ring. There's kind of a tapered inside edge of this manifold connection there. And then once that's in, the second sealing point to the actual pipe is the barb of the fitting that's inside here, and then this split ring compressing with the compression nut. So that's how that goes together. Do not use thread sealant tape or pipe dope on the manifold outlets. These materials may prevent a proper seal causing leaks. What you're going to do next is push this all the way in. So right there, you can see that it actually will stand kind of on its own there. That's a good sign. We'll put the nut up to the top there, go to hand tight. Now, when you tighten this, you don't want to go more than half of a turn to avoid over torquing or cracking the barrel and you also want to use two wrenches so support right there use a second wrench here if you're using a four foot pipe wrench or something like that that's not going to help you out specifically we're looking for nine pound feet of torque if you want to get into the details there but really just a hand tight and then a half turn is all we're looking for uh, the longer the wrench to put that together, the more likely that you're going to have an issue here. Again, those O-rings are the ceiling point, so no need to overdo it there. If you do that in that arrangement, you should be ready to go.